everything you're going to need for your decoupage Valentine heart. A wooden heart with the beveled part. I kind of like it that way. You can also use just a plain unfinished wood without anything fancy. I'm just going to use this one because I want a little bit of a smaller heart. Your Mod Podge. Doesn't matter really what kind. Chalk white paint. Uh, anything to spread the paint on the wooden heart. I kind of like using this because it gets into the grooves pretty easy. Two paintbrushes. Rice paper, floral design. You can use a napkin, that's fine too. This is pretty much what I wanted to use. I wanted to do a lavender tone. This is optional. Distressed oxide ink with a pad to go over the edges to give it a little bit of a vintage look. Your parchment paper, hot glue gun, and your iron. No steam. You're going to set it to medium, but remember no steam because it'll cause your napkin to bubble. And whatever embellishments that you want to put around it to make it look really pretty. We're going to go with a little bit of a Victorian look with this one. So start by, you want to start by painting your heart. This one I already painted, but I do need to get on the sides. So we're just going to do that again. The reason you want to use white is to have all your nice pretty colors show through. If you use a color, it's not going to show through. It's going to kind of wash it out. This is why I like using this. It spreads even, dries fast, and you can get in these little grooves really quick. So I'll go ahead and do that and speed this video up for you. The heart is painted white. We need to let this dry first before we apply the Mod Podge. Your white paint is dry and you're going to put a coat of Mod Podge right on top of the heart. And this is going to have to dry before you apply your napkin. You don't want to put too, too much because then it's going to bubble but you want to put enough so that the paper will stick. I'm just going to put it right to the edge. If you have any lumps from your Mod Podge, Make sure you remove them before you let this dry. Every once in a while you get something like that on there that I don't want. And you will also need an emery board or a nail file, whatever you have on hand. And we're going to let this dry. Usually it doesn't take too long. You can also use your hair dryer again. Because that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, that looks like a pretty decent amount. All right, let's get this dry. Your Mod Podge is dry. You have your napkin ready or your rice paper, whatever you chose. You're gonna position it exactly the way you want it to be on your heart. Get your parchment paper, lay it right on the top, and hold that right there in position so it doesn't move. Your iron's on medium. Remember, absolutely no steam. Okay, double check that, make sure it doesn't move. Perfect. Go ahead and apply the iron. And that's going to make sure 
it adheres to your heart. That feels good and hot. Let's get right up top there. Make sure you get your edges really good. Let's check it. Make sure. Like I missed a little bit right there, so give it one more shot. That should be on there pretty well. Okay, we're gonna let that cool for a second. Okay. Now, to get the paper off of the edges that you don't want it on, grab your emery board, the rougher side. And what you're going to do is carefully go down the edge like this. You don't wanna go back and forth because it's gonna ruin it. Just go one direction, not real hard, well, hard enough so it comes off. And it shouldn't take too long, it starts to come right off. See? Perfect, nice, beautiful, smooth edge. Go ahead and do that any place else that you want it off. will do it okay nice and smooth it's so pretty I like that already now I want to give it that little bit of a distressed look on the edges before I put on any of my embellishments this is Jim Holtz distress oxide ink in vintage photo I've had this a little while, so I'm going to head and spritz it a little bit with my alcohol just to re-wet it. Just a couple of spritz on the pad. If it's older, could be dry, is all you need. Clean pad. Okay. Make sure I don't have too much junk on my hands before I touch it since it's white. Okay. And just go over the edges real lightly at first. Because it's going to be a little bit heavier on the pad. Just a little bit. See how that's starting to look? It just gives it a nice little older look. I just love that on all the woodwork wall hangings that I do. That's gonna be so pretty. I cannot wait to see it when it's done. And I really would love to see some of your work if you've made any of the projects on my videos. And especially this one, I would really love to see how yours turns out. And you can email me the photos, the email address, right below. Or it'll be in the description as well. And remember, everything that you need is going to be in the description. If you have any questions or comments, I welcome them wholeheartedly, and I do answer. And 
that should do it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, set that aside. Get that pad, throw it in the trash. Now, time for some embellishments. And anybody that watches my videos knows I go overboard, I always put out way too much. Little word, love, of course, for Valentine's. And that is purchased at Hobby Lobby, and I believe it's from the Paper Studio. I love getting this stuff when it's half off. They have some pretty good sales there. So the sticky side is gonna be up for now. And I got lucky and found a lot of the pressed dry flowers and fern, and they're beautiful. They come in every single color. I get them right from Amazon. So much cheaper than the craft stores because their prices are a little bit ridiculous right now. So I refuse to buy them. Everything's on Amazon and it's right in the description with a link. So, this is an old, believe it or not, pocketbook cover. I never throw things away if it can be removed because I can use it someday and this is a perfect example. So, let's see where we're going to put these. That's going to look really nice. Is my glue gun hot? Yeah. dried flowers. Hmm. You don't want to put too much glow, but enough to make sure that it stays on. This stuff dries pretty quick. I'm surprised I'm even using the glue gun for this, but this is a little bit faster. Okay, that's look really pretty. So far, so good. Let's see. Do we want to add the keys? I kind of do. This one. Now nah, I'm going to put this one. I like it. This is turning out really pretty. Okay, what's next? Oh, I didn't put this one. Also, yeah, also, yeah, also. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, that is looking so beautiful. I really, really like it. Now, some, let me see what else. Where are we gonna put you? Yeah, that looks kinda cute. You can grab any embellishment you want, any flowers that you want on your heart. Make it special, make it yours. It does not have to be identical to what I'm doing. And just, Put it anywhere you want. And it's a, I guess it's okay to use the glue gun because you can remove it after without causing a lot of damage. So maybe it is smarter to use the glue, the glue gun instead of, whoop, I'm dropping things here. Instead of super glue. No. I don't want to overkill. That is pretty though. We're going to put the little purple roses on. I do like that. And we'll put one there. And let's see. One there. I think I'm going to give this to my daughter. She's a lavender freak. What else? Let me see. 
think, let me think. I don't really like that one, but we'll use it anyway. Waste not, want not. Um, this side. Okay, let's not get it too difficult here, Joy. There we go. And the love is sticking to me. And what else? Let's see. We will put it right there. And it's also self-adhesive, so it makes it a lot easier. Okay. And what else should we put on here? really wanted to use a couple of these dried flowers. I love this one right here. It's so pretty. Oop. Mm. Where? Yeah, that looks good. Might have to snip off those stems though. A little dab of Mod Podge. Because you definitely need the Mod Podge to put those on. You have to do it very carefully. Let's snip off. And you have to grab these with a the tweezer. They're so tiny and they break so easily. Come on, get up here. Oh, you dirty dog. Come on. Okay. So what I'm going to do is brush on a tiny bit of the Mod Podge first so it stays. And just dab it right there. Try not to hit where I put the ink. And just cut that and off with a scissor real quick. lay it down nice it worked okay so I just want to put a little bit more I should have used a way smaller brush but I don't want to get up right now and just reinforce it on there just lightly tap that Mod Podge because it's going to dry clear and it'll pop the color right out you'll be fine all right, and I think we're done. I don't want to really add anything more because I think it's going to be overkill. And that's it. There's your Valentine in lavender. Please send me some pictures at the email address provided at the bottom. Leave your comments. If you like the video, please slam the like button and consider subscribing. I will have a couple more videos on some Valentine ideas. Thanks for watching.